In this video, we're going to go ahead and import the course assets. So previously, you should have downloaded the assets that come with this course. Head on over to where you installed those, and you'll have a folder called Galaxy Shooter. This folder will have everything you need to make this Galaxy Shooter game. Go ahead and drag that into your project view. You'll know you can drop it in when you see these little plus icons on the bottom of your cursor. When you drop it in, Unity is automatically going to start compiling and importing these assets with 2D settings. Now, because we're importing over 100 assets, this would take several minutes. But what this video is going to cover is best practices for organizing our assets. I've already done the groundwork for you and gave you a base foundation for what I believe is a best practice for organizing your assets. We'll look at that when these are imported. Throughout this course, we'll be expanding upon the organization, and by the end of this, you're going to have several new folders with several organized categories and just overall um, it will be very pleasant to browse our assets. Uh, one of the worst things you could do is just have all of your assets not organized and just thrown in there. Oftentimes, for, for instance, for a game like this we only have maybe a hundred plus assets, but if you're working on a big indie project or even a AAA studio project, uh, you're going to have several thousand assets, so organization is really important to have and to have a, a really productive workflow. So these assets are just about done, and I'll go ahead and cover the workflow that I recommend with for you. Alrighty, so give these just another second here. So what we have here is our Galaxy Shooter folder. This is the root folder, which is typically the game name. Inside of here, I have a folder for audio, which hosts all the audio for our game. Same for the materials. All the materials that we'll be creating will be placed here. And for our sprites, every sprite for our game is going to be inside the sprites folder, organized within its own sprite. So for instance, we have explosions, and as you can see, we have several frames of this explosion, which means we're going to be using the animation system to animate these explosions. And as you can see here, we have our game scene, which is outside that folder. So let's go ahead and organize the scene inside here. So right click your root folder, create, folder, and go ahead and name this scenes. And let's go ahead and drag our game scene into our scenes folder, and now it's there. Now oftentimes you can think of a scene as a level. Some games will have several levels, for instance any mobile game is going to have like 30 plus levels, right? So what happens if we have thousands of assets and you're working on multiple scenes at the same time, going back and forth between them? You want to have an easy way to access your scenes. So oftentimes what I'll do is I'd like to have my scenes at the very top, but you'll notice that I can't rearrange these in the order I'd like. So what I do is I add an underscore to the beginning of scenes, and now my scenes are always at the root of my folder here. So now, if any scene I need to access, I can easily find it without having to scavenge through thousands of my assets. So this is our ground setup here, and like I said, throughout this course we're going to be expanding this and we'll continue to have best practices for folder organization. So now you'll notice that there are little blue icons uh, next to these folders, and what that means is that these are changed assets, and what Unity Collaborate wants us to do is commit these assets to the cloud. So we've made changes to this project, and Unity Collaborate has sensed that. So on the, right, on the top right here, go ahead and drop down this collab here, and let's describe our changes. We're going to go ahead and say importing or imported course assets. Hit publish now, and now all of our assets are saved on the cloud.